We begin here with two devastating attacks in Afghanistan, American lives lost in both attacks. The latest attack is one of the worst of those so-called inside jobs yet. Today, Afghan police officers turning their guns on American troops at a checkpoint, killing four U.S. service members. It comes as we learn new details about the other brazen attack by the Taliban on a separate base there in Afghanistan. They're the attackers dressed in American uniforms, killing two Marines and setting eight fighter jets ablaze. ABC's Muhammad Leela is in Kabul with the latest on both attacks tonight. Muhammad. David, many American soldiers here are on edge tonight. Four more U.S. troops killed by the very Afghan policemen that they're working alongside. It comes after the Taliban launched one of the biggest ever attacks against a coalition base. It's supposed to be one of the safest bases in the country, so fortified no one could ever breach it. On Friday night, the unthinkable happened. Fifteen Taliban fighters wearing American uniforms blew a hole through the outer wall, storming inside with automatic rifles, suicide vests and grenade launchers. The Taliban were able to execute this attack in a quite professional manner. They were able to do reconnaissance, posing as farmers and watching how the Marines worked on base, where they worked. All coalition bases here in Afghanistan have several lines of defense. The Taliban were able to breach almost all of them and nearly hit their target. That target, the airfield at Camp Bastion, where Prince Harry is stationed. According to reports, the prince was whisked away to a safer location the moment the attack happened. The insurgents went on to destroy or damage eight Harrier jets worth at least $20 million each, three refueling stations, and six aircraft hangars. The last attack where so many U.S. aircraft were destroyed at once more than 40 years ago during the Vietnam War. This was a very deliberate well-planned, well-executed attack by the Taliban that created chaos and mayhem on a base that, that should have been more secure and this should not have happened. And late this evening, another incident that's causing tension here. NATO is confirming that an airstrike has led to civilian casualties reportedly, including Afghan women and children. David. Some fast-moving developments there. Mohammed Leela in Afghanistan tonight. Mohammed, thank you. And as you heard a report there, Prince Harry is serving at that Afghanistan base. Of course, we don't know if Harry was the target, if his presence even played a role in why they attacked there. But it was a very public deployment, and so we wanted to know why make it so public. We bring in ABC's Martha Raddatz. And Martha, how rare is this? David, this is really highly unusual. Remember that the last time the prince was deployed in 2008, it was done in secret. And when it leaked, he went back to Britain early because he didn't want his presence to endanger others. He was a forward air controller then. That's a job on the ground. This time, I think the British announced it because he's an attack helicopter pilot. So the British felt that Prince Harry would be in a much safer position, not out among potential enemies, but up in the air. I don't think they even imagined an attack on the airfield itself. But this has got to be making them rethink this, and, and Prince Harry too. I doubt he would want anyone to be in a more dangerous spot because of his presence. And the fact that a small group of insurgents could make it that far, that deep, onto a secure base where thousands of U.S. Marines are, David, is really extraordinary.